I was delighted one morning when all these young lambs appeared. Baby lambs frolicking as far as the ropes around their red ribbon necks aloud, joyfully dancing in the flowers and the air, lighting up the twisted olive trees with their bleaching in unison. By the middle of April, I hardly noticed or remembered a time when they hadn't been there. And then, one evening, a tremendous screaming and crashing from outside my window. I was pulled to safety when, when all of a sudden there were these horrible sounds. Uh, don't worry. I, I'm sure it's the, the cracking of old crockery, he said, which for the pagan Orthodox began lenting. And the people cheered. I peered through a crack. Flying saucers above and Pericles below. Christ had risen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the next day, the ropes hung empty. The bows lit on the door. Each father had slit the throat of an Easter sacrifice. Each mother. Mother serves lamb, and the streets are red ribbons. Call it tradition. Okay, hit me with your best. I'll do a Mina Farrow on you right here to make Woody cry. <laughs> My ex husband's lawyer is so huge, he towers over me like Quasimodo <laughs> without the hump <laughs> or feeling. Stomping over my heart in Nazi boots, slogging through the years of love. Lammy needs fury, Mom. Lammy needs to take a bathtub. Lammy needs a new eye. Lammy has the chicken pops. The pops, Mama. Lammy is scared. Lammy is the first present I ever gave her dad at Christmas before she was born, so she slept with the lamb ever since she was inside me, and I held it close to my own round body, around his neck, long since gone. Lammy has a biblical verse about the, the weak or the meek, something like that. <laughs> oh yes, Lammy's leg is sewn on sideways. Well, I am not perfect. <laughs> Lammy is Fred Astaire. Never takes a step without dancing. Never skips a beat. Lammy is up for ransom in Florida. The last free state! Lammy free! Free state! <laughs> the best little girl of the whole wide baby world. Every night, I tell us. The whole wide baby world. And what about Lammy? What about him? Yes, the best little lamb in the whole wide Lammy world. Oh, yes. Seven thousand dollars in legal fees. And the last thing I whispered to my lawyer before we enter court, free the lamb. First thing, we free the lamb. Free the lamb! 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 My daughter's birth almost killed me. Everyone panicked, but Gertie flew down the hall, and I screamed, Stop! Not without my Buddha, my Buddha! And when my ex-husband leaned down to stick the retreat statue in the crook of my neck, he said, You are being punished for the life you've lived. And when I awoke, he whispered, I know you'll never, ever forgive me, but all of a sudden, I was afraid of you. Strapped down to a Gertie, <laughs> oozing love and afterbirth? <laughs> <laughs> red ribbons, just red ribbons, when he smashed my face into a table, red, my daughter's mouth, he hadn't hit her that hard, he said, besides, it was really about humiliation, my ex-husband looks like the man you buy a Toyota from. <laughs> In fact, he is the man on TV who sells cars, but he's probably not anything like the poor guy who actually 
walks around the unweeded parking lot year after year, selling false hopes and promises, looking small and mean. But who? I like to picture joyfully brings his paycheck home to children without scars, irretrievably injured. I pity my husband and go through man after man and leave. Because I do, because my forgiveness is endless, because I think I'm supposed to give her a good father. Father in heaven, forgive me, I've tried, and now she hates me for it. She tells me after every court order visitation, lies on the floor screaming, You're a terrible mother! Father, forgive me. I could hate her then. Call it forgivable, please. Okay, don't appear hostile. <laughs> <laughs> my lawyer advises Whatever me. you do, don't appear hostile. I cold my lips up dry as bone over my teeth, smiling pleasantly. I'm not like a moron. <laughs> my lower teeth are biting at the bottom of my left eye, and I have to struggle not to wink at the judge. <laughs> and a whore will charge me with solicitation and attempt to bribe, take me to his chambers where I'll do anything he orders, lay down, lay down over his desk, over his crawl under his robe. <laughs> but it might not be that easy. Who will protect us? Daddy is gone. Who will protect us from daddy? Not the judge. He rules in the favor of men. In the favor of men? <laughs> Blood, lust, and haircuts, and slaughter of innocents. Oh, help! Help! <laughs> Carved into the walls of my cervix. 
Steve loves me, Joey loves me, Sam loves anything pink. It's a crime. place other than me. I'm amazed. Oh, 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 that's, that's not from my body. It's from my heart, I say. I know. Oh, my heart's on fire. If they take this kid from me, I'm a dead person. I know. Says, and it's love. Love, blood, sex. A flaming dead, heart on fire. Three. I'm not responsible for the person I am, Mama. I'm just a little girl. Why doesn't everyone just leave me alone and let me stay in one place? Just three. Lammy. Baby and me. Help. <coughs> we need an exorcism. I feel like a dot on the side of a milk carton. She says, we need a shotgun. It's a crime what we need. We need a judge who rules in the favor of children. Such a pretty girl.